Thanks for joining today. My name is Brandon and today I'm reviewing the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. In the carbon plated super shoe world, there are two different categories. You get the springboard type like the Vaporfly X% 2 which launches you forward and then you get the rocket type like the Carbon X3 which rolls you forward. The Saucony Endorphin Pro is a really unique super shoe which falls into both of these categories. You get the S-shaped carbon plate which propels you forward and you also get the speed roll technology which quickens transitions. Over the past two years I've put a decent amount of mileage onto my pair of Endorphin Pro and I used it for mostly interval workouts and training tempo runs. I never raced in it because for long distance races, I prefer something a little bit more cushioned and softer and also something a little bit more propulsive. I thought that the Endorphin Pro was a good racing shoe, but it wasn't in the top tier of racing shoes. Last year's Endorphin Pro 2 was only an upper update. So this year we get a complete overhaul. The Endorphin Pro 3 has a new stripped down upper, a beefed up midsole and a tweaked outsole as well. It now weighs 7.2 ounces or 204 grams compared to the Endorphin Pro 2 which was 7.5 ounces or 213 grams. But the thing that I'm most excited about is the increase in stack height. It's now 4 millimeters higher in the heel and 4 millimeters higher in the forefoot. It's also more expensive now, it's 225 US dollars, which is $25 more than the Endorphin Pro 2 when it first launched. It's still however cheaper than most of the other carbon plated super shoes, which are priced at $250. My first run was an interval workout consisting of 6x1 kilometer intervals. And the first thing that I noticed was how much softer and more cushioned it felt than its predecessor. It also felt more stable than the Endorphin Pro 2 and the new more aggressive rocker made it feel faster. That first workout felt good but it still didn't feel as fast as some of the other super shoes that I've tested recently. The only negative thing in that first workout was how narrow the forefoot and the toe box felt. I wore medium thick socks with it, but it felt really snug and I regretted not buying a half size bigger. After that run, I only wore thin socks with it, but it still felt uncomfortable. Saucony did an excellent job with the midsole of the Endorphin Pro 3. It now has the level of cushioning which I expect from a marathon racing shoe. 32 kilometers was the longest run that I did in it and those extra four millimeters of foam in the heel and the forefoot make a really big difference. It's now got a lot more long distance comfort and it's become one of the most cushioned super shoes on the market. The other improvement that they made to the midsole is to the stability. The midsole now bulges out, so it has a wider net base and this makes it more comfortable on long runs because it's more stable and it's also easier to corner in the Endorphin Pro 3. The toe spring is more prominent than in previous versions, so this makes it the fastest feeling Endorphin Pro to date. However, the high toe spring isn't as aggressive as in other super shoes like the Adios Pro 3 or the Metaspeed Sky Plus. So the forward tipping sensation is not very distinct in the Endorphin Pro 3. The S-shaped carbon plate in the midsole starts in the heel and it dips down sharply in the forefoot just like it does in the Vaporfly. So you get a similar type of springboard launch that you get in the Vaporfly. But the big difference is that the midsole of the Vaporfly is softer and more compressive. So the plates can move more freely inside the midsole. The Endorphin Pro 3 has a firmer type of midsole with less compression so the propulsion feels lower than it does in the Vaporfly. I enjoyed using the Endorphin Pro 3 for interval sessions, tempo runs, long runs, and even easy runs because the heel is no longer wobbly at slow paces. 
So I find it an incredibly versatile super shoe. When it comes to the new outsole design, it's a step backwards in my opinion. On the one hand, traction and grip has improved, but on the rear foot, the rubber stops short a couple millimeters of the edge, and this leaves the soft foam unprotected. So I've noticed a lot of wear on the edges of the shoe where the midsole scuffs the ground. The Endorphin Pro 3's new upper is one of the most breathable I've ever tested on a running shoe. And it even rivals the Alpha Fly's Atomnet in terms of breathability. It has a new tongue which is flatter and gusseted, but it slides downwards during runs. So it lets through the pressure from the top row of laces and you can't tie it too tight. The heel cup is excellent. I didn't experience any heel slippage or any rubbing and I found overall foot lockdown superb. The fit of the shoe is very narrow, especially in the forefoot and the toe box. I have really narrow feet, so if I had to buy it again, I would definitely go up a half size. So I feel that the majority of runners will need to size up. The most impressive thing about the Endorphin Pro 3 is that it managed to gain a lot of extra stack height but it still managed to lose weight. It also has improved stability and improved traction, so it's an overall improvement over the Endorphin Pro 2. However, even though it's improved in most aspects, it's still not in my top tier of racing shoes. It doesn't feel as punchy as some of the other super shoes that I've tested. So in other words, it doesn't give me as much speed assistance as the others do. In order to be in the top tier, Saucony needs to either make the Power Run PB foam softer so that the carbon plate has more travel, or else they need to increase the toe spring and make it more aggressive so that it has a higher level of forward tipping sensation, like Adidas did with the Adios Pro 3. I'll continue using the Endorphin Pro 3 in my rotation, but just not for marathons because I find the narrow forefoot a little bit too uncomfortable and for me there are other options which provide a bigger boost. If you're an Endorphin Pro fan, let us know down in the comment section below what you think of the Endorphin Pro 3. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.